Hey everybody, it's Jennifer here. Um, I just want to do a quick unbagging today. Um, my phone has been broke, but I got a new one. I haven't got to do my other videos of my haul yet. I did untangle the one box, um, the $20 box from the last preview thing. But um, I still have to go through the other box and look at all the earrings and all. But right now I want to do these little bags that I got at the antique store. I paid ten dollars for this one, and ten dollars for this one, which is pretty pricey. But I can't always find jewelry bags around here, and these bags I usually find silver in. So um, I figured I'd just give it a try. And the one bag it mostly looks like it has all beads and stuff in it, but I did see a few couple good little pieces. So. And I figured I better get two just in case one earring's in one and one's in the other or there's only two. So I figured I'd just get them both. Alright, let's open. I guess let's open the junk one first and get it over with. I did see a cute little thing in here. There's like a little cat, little rock cat, some kind of stone. Everyone can see. It's the first time I've used this phone. All right. and the beads rolling all over. And to start, I'm just going to start taking these. These ones look like oh, plastic. Oh, plastic. Now I'm old away. Plastic little glowing beads or something. They're shiny. Let's get that out. Some red beads, some purple beads. And I will um, use those, well, not probably the plastic ones, but I use some of the nicer ones to um, make necklaces and jewelry. So, and for some reason there was a lot of jingle bells in here too. Good for next year. Alright, let's see, I did see this through there. That's one of the reasons why I brought the bag. It's a pretty rhinestone bracelet. Actually... And it has a safety. Let me take the safety off. Safety chain. Alright. So this pretty rhinestone bracelet. I don't I believe there was a couple stones missing. Yes, yeah, so I see two stones missing from right here. Oh, where's it at? Right here and here. So it looks like only two. All the rest. Otherwise, it's in really nice shape. There's the back. Nice and shiny. And I believe this has a name right here. Get my magnifying glass so that I can see it. It says Kramer of New York. Anybody here of Kramer of New York? I haven't heard of that one yet, but I will look that up. Otherwise, it looks like it. Check the clasp. Mm, the clasp may or may not be broken. I can't really tell. Um, I'll have to look at that. No, I, it doesn't look broke, but it doesn't feel like it's clasping. Well, I'll look at that and see if I can... Figure out what's wrong with it. That looks on. Nice. More beads. Get the junky things out the way. Put that over there. Let's put that over here. Alright. Next. Um, I did see this through the bag when I got it home. And it's blue. Really coming up blue, but it's like a light blue, kind of like a turquoisey color. And there's nothing on the back. There's a rivet, which leads me to believe it may be vintage. Never know, but I will definitely make a nice little pennant or something out of this. So pretty, it's a flower. There's no marks on the back, but 
like it. I can't tell if that's plastic. Sounds like it might be plastic. I, don't, I will check that later. I'm not going to put that in my mouth. Alright, I have this earring. Silver tone. Kind of looks like one of them chain pulls. Actually, they're wired on here. Somehow. And they do have a screw back. And I don't know if there's something supposed to be here. Or not. Let's see if we can find the other one. I don't see any markings. I do have a magnet somewhere. It's not sticking. So the Y, no, maybe it is. Yeah, I think they are sticking. And the top is definitely sticking too. Alright. Jingle bells and more beads. And got this cute little cameo earring. The ring circles all around it. And this is gold tone. And I do not see any markings. But it kind of looks like like a reddish orange underneath there where the cameo is. Kind of I don't know how well this phone focus it's probably not too well at all. This might not be the best phone. Alright, let's see what else we got. More beads. More bells. More beads. A bag full of beads. It must be crazy. Alright, here's just a little back of an earring with nothing on there. Piece that I can maybe fix one of the other ones I've gotten. I'll see. We'll put that in there for parts. And I did see these through the bag, which is one of the reasons why I got it. And there is a pair in here. I did see that there was two. I didn't want to buy too much just junk. Alright, here's the other one of these. And I do see they are missing one, one rhinestone. These are flowers. Missing leaves, I believe. And this phone's not that great. Right. And I did notice on the back they are marked Coro. Not liking the way this phone focuses at all. There's a pair. So I just need one, one little rhinestone to replace that. And I do have a pair of earrings. Alright, we'll put them to the side. I don't believe the other one of the cameo ones is in here. Which kind of is upsetting. But, let's see. And what do I have here? This looks like it was I'm not quite sure what these are. It looks like someone might have made it in earrings. Let me show you the front first. They look like this. And I'm not sure if that's marcasite or not. Or just little beads. Pieces of metal. But the back is missing. That one's missing the earring post. And then this. But it has these little bars here. Which is leading me to believe that these were something else other than earrings. Maybe shoe clips or something. If you have any idea, comment below. What you think it might be. And this one does have a name. It says R A N and maybe a C. And 
The other one is blurry. You can't tell. Let me see if I can. No, this phone doesn't want to cooperate. Alright, anyway, we have those. And that one. No, this maybe is the back. Yes, this is the back to one that they had on that. So I can put that back on. It's worth for me to fix. Here I have a little gold key that doesn't belong to anything. I mean, it's not a pendant. I mean, I guess I could make it a pendant, but it's not a pen. It's a cute little gold tea with a, a key with a black enamel spot. I believe it's enamel. Well, oh, look at the stone. Yeah, it's just enamel. But it's cute. It can be a pendant. Alright. We got a nice... Here's the other necklace. I mean, another earring that matches this. So I do have a pair, and there's nothing on this one either, so maybe it's supposed to be that way. So there's two of them. All right, oh, and I was really curious about this. I believe this is stone, and it's a cute little kitty cat. I'm oh, sorry, my dog is jumping across the bed. And some holes in him, so I guess I can make him into some kind of necklace. So there's a hole in the front and here. So maybe I can hang him down to something. Very cute kitty. Alright, more jingle bells. This bag is not the best. So here I have a little study ring with a little rings and make some kind of knot let me just look and take the back off to see it's marked anything because like I said sometimes I do find silver sterling in hers sterling in 925 and that one does not have any marks on the side and then there's this earring looks like abalone In the silver tone setting, dangle earring with a screw back, and there's nothing on the back, it's just got lines around it. And I don't see any markings on this either. Yeah, it's a very cute earring. And it Seems to be like I have the other one. Nope. Mm. Yeah, this looks like a broken um, crucifix chain. A beaded one, but the cross is not on there. It's broken. No marks on that, but I will test this little part just to see if it's silver when I get a tester kit. And then I have one more. This is a clip-on red plastic bead earring. Half a bead. And there's a single. Let's see. Maybe strings for making stuff? I don't know. Probably won't use that. Here's a little heart earring stud. And there's only one of those two that I see. And not much more stuff here besides all these little loose beads. So this may not have been the best ten dollar bag, but at least there was a few things in there. And then I have this interesting. I don't know if this is a belt or a necklace. Let me know what you think. Looks like this. Silver tone. I'm sorry my kids are making noise. Even though they know I'm in here making a video. And it looks like that with this. 
hook, clasp, and it goes like that. Quiet, please. And so it's about this long. I'm gonna say it's at least 30 inches. I'm not quite sure. So let me know if you think this is. Let me see if I can get my phone up wide enough. So it's this long. Right there, this is the end. It looks like it's a maybe some kind of leaf or something. Not really. If anybody knows what that is, you can leave a comment below. My silver tone for me. It is magnetic, so it's not silver. And I just have a whole bunch of these junky beads. One little piece here. It says third year. On the back it does say little system one twentieth gold P gold plated. So it's just a little piece of something. Oops, it's gone now. And then last we have seed bead. I don't know if these are actually seed beads, but these glass beads. In this pretty blue and clear color. And it has a gold tone barrel clasp. And I think this is actually pretty, so. I'm going to put it back together. Oh, sorry. Second, not cooperating. Anyway, so kind of looks like this. That's it for that bag. So I wasn't wasn't that happy with that bag, but like I said, I don't find bags that often, so when I find them, I usually pick them up. And then here is the second bag. We'll do this one real quick. Put this down just a little bit. I'll cut this one open. All my scissors are missing from the house. <sighs> all right, so this one, we'll just dump it all out over here. And then, excuse me, uh, who's calling? All right, let's see. First, we got a plastic. This is one of them pop necklaces. So, <laughs> they look like these, but they are a pop together. It looks like that. So, I guess I can just pop it apart anywhere and pop it together. Oh, great. And that looks like that. And it's plastic. Plastic poppers. All right. Then I did see this through the bag, and it says sterling. So this is a single earring. It says sterling silver. And there is no marks on it. I hope it's the right one that goes in there. It is gold tone, though. And, like I said, I don't see anything actually marked on the earring. But, I can just hope it is. Pixie, go lay down. If you see the bed bouncing, that's my dog. I mean, the phone bouncing is my dog walking across the bed. 
her puppies are on my bed in a box. I'm sorry. All right, next I have a horseshoe pin with a four-leaf clover. And there is some kind of stone here. Um, looks like it's missing a couple other little stones that were around here. But it does have some kind of rhinestone or something here. And it is a pin. And there's a little bent, so the thing is stuck up. The back looks like this. Gold tone. Not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Horseshoes. I guess it's for luck. I don't know what the long thing, pointy thing is supposed to be. If you know, let me know. And there is no kind of marking on this at all. So, next, I have another brooch. No, I do see a name on this one. Let me close it so I don't poke myself. Alright, it's a long gold tone brooch. Back looks like this. It has and then clasp that you turn. So it's not as vintage. But it does say. I blind myself. Try Fari. Doesn't look clean. Now let me open it again so I see if we can get you to see it. Alright, make sure you close it. So right in there. It is Mark Try Fari. Tone. Not bad. Need to be cleaned. Alright, that's cute. There is that one big earring. Gold tones. Round. Um, I do not see a mark. Needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, nope, I do have the pair. So there's a pair of these. And they are black in the middle. I believe it's plastic. I can't really tell right now. They're cute. They need to be clean. So we have a pair of those. Let's see. And we do have a pair of Gold enamel with, I believe, black and pink or black. And, they look red here. Maybe it is red. Black and red. And these are stud earrings. Nice. Need to be cleaned. And I don't see any marks on the back of these either. Or on the earring backs. But there is a pair. Okay. Let's see, I'll do something here. Alright. And then let's see, I have another pair of sparkly enamel studs. Cream colored. And they are like wavy. And I do not see a marking on these. Maybe on... I do see something on the earring back. And I blinded myself again. Let's see. I believe it says Avon. So these are a pair of Avon earrings. Or Avon backs on these earrings. These are a little thicker than the other ones. The backs are the same on both of them. So they might be Avon. Alright. A lot of stud earrings. Okay, these are interesting. 
pink plastic bottoms with the black top. And they kind of move. And again, these are stud earrings. And they have a mark on the back too. And it just looks like Kind of looks like the copyright symbol. But I'm not quite sure. It looks like a C in a circle. So anybody knows what that is. If it's just a copyright or if it isn't a brand. Let me know. I'll try to show you. I don't highly doubt it will show up on my phone. Let me see what side it's on. It's on this side. So it's over here. if you can see it. It's a circle with a C. Kind of looks like the copyright. There is a pair. Oh, okay. A little cute. Scotty dog pin. Or schnauzer pin. This looks like my mom's dog, Miles. Who passed away along with my mother. He's so cute. And he is a pin, a brooch. He's white on the back. And he is kind of painted, he's kind of white with black, kind of like enamel on him, I guess. Very cute with a red tongue. And it has like a number 12 on the back. And then underneath in there, I see something else. Oh, it says Jerry's. G-E-R-R-Y-S. So this is a Jerry's Schnauzer pin. I guess it's a Schnauzer. So cute. All right. Oh, these are cute. I got another pair of clip-on. Oh, these are nice. He's pretty bad boy. And these are gold tones with rhinestones and gold beads. I don't know if they're plastic or metal. Again, and these ones have all their... Well, no, it's missing. I don't know what's there. It's darker. Or no, it's missing. It's missing one rhinestone. One little rhinestone, but these again are marked. These are lever back bonds, and then these are marked trifari, and they have the crown over top. These are crown trifari. There is a pair. This means one little rhinestone. Nice. Get this. Oh, I see another doggy pin too. All right. Here I have a. Where's the front? Silver tone necklace. Let's put it on here. Okay. So I got a silver tone necklace. And it has a hook clasp, nice little dangly ball, it's a hook, it doesn't say anything on the back of the hook, but I believe I've seen something somewhere here, and it says Judy Lee, let's put it on the circle here. Is Jude Lee. Judy Lee. I have to look that up. I'm not quite sure who that is, but it's in good shape. Pretty, not broken. I like it. All right. Here we 
here's another pair of stud earrings. These ones are blue and black and gold. These are kind of big, like an inch, maybe a little more. Again, stud. And I don't see any markings on these or on the earring backs. But they are cute and they do go with the other ones. Alright, and let's go for him. We have another little dog. Oh, this little buddy. Looks like he's missing some rhinestones. Oh no. Maybe one or two. Not as many as I thought. But he is also painted. Has some black enameling and white enameling on him. And then rhinestones. And a red collar. Oh, he's too cute. And he also has one of them ones you turn, the class that you have to turn to lock it in. And I don't see any markings on this little guy. He's too cute. I'll show you him one more time. And that looks like this. Oh, he's so cute. Put him over there and let's see what else we got. Not much, but a tangle. Alright. We have. I guess this is some kind of bangle bracelet. With wire and. Faux pearl. Or glass beads. I think they're faux pearl and the painting's coming off. And it has a gold wire through it. Some other little metal beads. A little bent up. Let's see what else we got. Nice big brooch. Um, looks ribbony with some little balls. A little wreath of them or something. I don't know. Very cute. And let's see, it is marked. Again, it has the one that you turn on the back to lock it in. And it is marked. Let me show you it the right way. It's marked Trifari. No, this is a nice one to wear. Very nice pin. And this one does have the crown over the T2 on the Trifari. Alright, this is a cute little bangle, I guess. Better than the plain silver ones that no one has any use for. And it has black and white enamel painting. Plus it has some um, metal wire wrapped around it, I guess. And this looks like it came off a ring. And I don't know if this is real turquoise or not. Real so there's no mark on the back. So I'm going to have to check this out and see if it's halite or turquoise. Probably halite, my luck, but still cute. Maybe I can get this put on a new ring. Oh, there's no marking on the back. Very cute. Should do one more time. Oh, I dropped it. It looks like something came off of there. Save it. Let's see, we have another brooch pin. Again with the turning thing. I'm sorry, I can't get it out. Anyway, you don't see a mark on the back, but it looks like this. 
the rhinestone, circle, not quite sure, to be a rope or what, okay, that looks like this, no marking, it seems kind of a little dull, losing its color maybe, to be cleaned up, see how it looks. Alright, a pair of earrings, oh I would love if these said gold, and they look like this, and they're pierced, oops, and where's my magnet, stuck over here to that thing, and not cool because they are hanging, they are cute little earrings. And they are a pair, and they do say Monet around here, I believe. Yep. Let's see, it goes around this metal part here. There to there, you can't really see the letters, but it's there. It says Monet, so these are Monet earrings at least. Cute pair. All right, let's see. Oh, here's the other one here. Like that. Mm -hmm. All right. The other one's here or not, but here's the earring, which may or may not be turquoise. I'm not quite sure. That kind of thing. I do see a name on the back. Let me show you one more time. That was really dirty. Oh, it says Sterling. Sterling, Sterling something after, but I don't know what it says, but it's so cute. This is a Sterling, hopefully that is turquoise. I'll let you know, I hope I can find the other one. Doesn't look like it though. Will I be that lucky? Probably not. Alright, let's see. Be sad. All right. Trying to get it out. I'm sorry, bear with me. How do we get a tangle with this little amount of jewelry? I did buy, um, I did come across three more other bags in the past couple of days in the jewelry, I mean in the thrift store, so I will be opening those bags too, but I just wanted to do the little ones first, because I know I'm more likely to get, um, sterling or gold in them than the thrift store. Okay, so... I got this necklace untangled, and it is a peace sign, I believe. Oh, I'm turning the thing upside down. Alright, so this is a peace sign, and, and it's on a silver tone chain. The chain has a spring, circle spring clasp. Probably more vintage. Let's see if I see anything written on it. I don't see anything there. Or there, so. Oh, I had the peace sign backwards too. 
Sorry I was showing you the hand backwards because it actually goes this way. Because there's actually a peace symbol inside his hand. It's kind of cute. That's not in bad shape. But there is no markings on that. Let's do the test. And it is... It is attracted a little bit to it. Chain definitely sticks. Cute necklace though. We need some peace in the world. Alright, let's see. And what other goodies do we got? Let's get the necklaces out of the way, I guess. If I can. Tone. I don't know if this is called a, I don't know if it's a Celtic knot or just a knot or, anyway, a short gold tone ne knot necklace, and it has the lobster claw clasp, and I don't see any markings on that. And there's none on the back of the necklace either. Yeah, but it's in really good shape. The pearl one style of the bar. Very nice. Pretty. Then I have... Let's see, here's a little pair of red... Red... Rhinestone, set in silver tone, stud earrings. And I don't believe there's anything marked on these. It's just the way the metal looks. So, they are a pair. Back is missing off of one. No, it's, no. This one does say something on the back. Napier. So it says Napier on the back of the earring. So I believe, hopefully, I should have the other back. Oh. Hopefully, these are a pair of Napier red rhinestone earrings. Very pretty. They do look nice. Nice, more nice made than the regular stud earrings. Alright. Chains. Alright, I have a pin, a stick pin. With a little red stone in the middle. Gold tone. I don't see any mark. And all on it. That's a very good shape. I don't know if this is a man's or a woman's. But it's very cute. Let's see another little pair of earrings that I like here. I'm so happy there's a pair because I got one from her before like this. And there was only one in the bag. So I'm going to have to make a pennant out of that one, I guess. And as soon as I get this off, I will show you what they are. Alright, so I have a pair of oh, screwback cloisonne hard earrings. are butterflies flying over flowers on both sides waiting to be cleaned and let's see I don't see any marker marking on it but I love them they're so pretty and there is 
birthday pair. So two of those. All right. And I see I have this a pair. No, this is not a pair. Is this a pair? No, this is not a pair. So I have some single ear single rhinestone earrings. This one. And that's a clip on. Leave her back unmarked. And there's only one sad. I really like this one, and there's only one. It's really cute. And this one is not marked either. And this one is screw back. Silver tone with black. Really like that one. All right. Here's a pin. I have a. I guess this is Christmas candle pin. It's a white candle and two red candles. And it's a pin. And it is not marked. Have anything else that matches here? I have a oh, I have what the hell is that? All right, so I have a grapevine, well, grape cluster brooch, and this one is marked Trifari, and it's a little little pin. And it is marked try for a rate under the pin here. If you can see it. It's try for a. And that is a really nice. Nice condition too. No wear. Beautiful. Then. I do believe this one goes with it. There is another pin brooch. And this one is a pineapple, silver tone pineapple. Very nice shape. Nowhere. And this one again says try Fari in there. If I can open it. I don't know if you can see, but down in that little square there it says try Fari. And it has one of them twist things again. And pineapple. I have a pineapple and a grape. And let's see. So those are the earrings that don't go together. Singles. All right. Let's see. I have a gold tone chain here. That is broken. Anything on the spring ring? Mm, I don't see anything written there. Mm, where did I put my magnet? The magnet test. Yes, and it does stick to the magnet. So that one is not gold. Weird, I don't know what this is. Piece of an earring or something, maybe? Mm. It's become a pendant, but it's red, white, and blue. There's only one of them to pour open. Here is... Oh! One little single earring. It is a Christmas candle. It's a clip-on. Got a tiny little clip back. And I don't believe that's marked. I think that's just scratches. Oh, no. Patent pending. And I believe there's only one. All right, what do I get here? Well, these are not a matching pair either, are they? Yes. And here I have a pair of stud dangle earrings. That have little 
I don't know if these are gray. I'm going to look over there. Let me straighten that a little bit. Anyway, they got little flowers, a little crystal, and a little gold piece of chain on there. And these off. I can't tell if there's something on that post or not. Let's see if I see any kind of marks here. As far as I can tell, they're not anything special. They stick right to it, so they are not not gold. That's okay, because at least there's a pair of them. If you have two of those. And I've already got a bunch of single earrings. Here's a black chain. This one actually looks like it has something engraved down by the bottom, but I'm probably not going to be able to read that right now. It's really small. So I'll have to let you know what that says. But it's just a little knot. It has knot in it, but I'll get that out. Kind of a dark chain. It has the spring class. But has the one doesn't have hardly have like the little tab on it. It's has the little ridge and you gotta pull back. And the circle. Like I said, it does say something down there around the thing, but I cannot read what it says. I will let you know if it turns out to be anything good. Alright. Almost done. And I have this. Oh, Merry Christmas pennant. So it's Merry Christmas. And I think that's supposed to be a little tree. And it might be missing one rhinestone. Can't really tell. Very nice and shiny. Back looks like that. And I don't see any markings on it besides that. So very cute. Alright, I have another little piece of broken chain here. This is anything now that sticks. Um, what did I do with that black chain? Did I try this? Yeah, this black chain does not stick to the magnet, so okay, we'll have to check that one out. I have two little, two little heart charms. Maybe they came off of earrings with the rhinestones. There's one rhinestone missing for one of them. I don't see any markings on the back. I can either use them to harvest the stones or use them for crafting. It's me sad I have a bunch of single earrings. Alright, here's another little pennant. And this is a heart with a little red flower in it. Well, a flower with a red center. And this is gold tone. And I do not see any marks on this. And it is kind of sticking a little lightly. And I have a little angel clip on earring. And it is not marked. 
And there is only one. And then we have a flower with a door knocker. I don't know. Earring. Screw back. And it does say sterling around the back on the circle here. I don't know if you can probably won't see it, but around there on the flat part it says sterling. Well, there's only one. And sorry, it's my phone. That's so cute. I wish there was two. Alright, then we have a pair of red enamel. Earrings with a white dot. And actually, the dots are at the bottom, so they be like this. And these ones are not marked. Nope. There's two, so they need to be cleaned. And then I have this little gold tone earring. It says N something E N E N T O U X and it's gold tone. But there's only one. And it does say that on the back of that earring. I wish I had the other one. Alright, then we have another single screw back with some rhinestones. Different shapes. I can't tell what color those are, and they're dirty. I don't know if they're all white. Yeah, this is just very dirty. Need to be cleaned. But there's only one. Another heart. Study earring, only one. I believe, yeah, these are all the rest are singles. Sad. I don't see any marks on that one either. Maybe black. Is it black? A little cabochon or something off the. Something fell off. Another little gold tone hoopy earring. Fin. And I don't see any marks on that one either. Just this magnet. It doesn't stick to the magnet. Okay. Here's another hoop earring. A stud earring. Double heart. And this one's not marked. And this one is magnetic. There's no marking. This says Japan. I think this attaches to an earring. It's one of them things you can add. And that says Japan. This is a little cute earring. Screw back. Vintage. Maybe. Like that. Those are just a couple little pearls on the string coming out of there. The flower back there. It's like a floral pattern. Flower in the middle. And then leaves and stuff around the outside. So cute. Back looks like this. Needs to be clean. But there's only one. I got one of those. I have this. And this is one twenty ten karat gold filled. This might be part of that other thing I had. And it says on their second year. Little stem. So this is some religious. Must be communions or something. Now don't stick. This is really cute. 
believe this was a bell. This is only one. And I wish there was two. With the little rhinestone dingle dingles in there. Very cute. And this is a stud earring. And there's no markings. Oh, I really, really like that one. So cute. And let's see, we're almost done. I have a little strawberry. Going to be the bag of fruits. Grapes, pineapple, strawberry. And this is the Avon earring with strawberry, but there's only one. And let's see what I got. Oh, this is very cute too, but there's only one. One um, lily, calla lily, whatever you call it. Screw on earring. So cute. I love it. There's only one. I have to go back and see if they got more soon. I really like that one. Last earring. And then I have one more thing after that. A little circular earring, dangle, stud. No marks. And lastly, I got this. Gamler's Leading Jewelers Diamond Importers. Um, and it is a penny in the thing. And it says, keep me and never go broke. Good luck. And it has a 1941 penny in it. And that's pretty cool. And there's the advertisement for the place. And there's a 1941 penny. Very nice. Alright, so that's all I got from these two bags. I will be back with another video. Um, thanks for watching. Please give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye.